walk on them. <laughs> you can. You can. Alright, here we go. Here I go. Actually, that song, like hundreds of other songs, you know, are based on the chord progression of George Gershwin's old I Got Rhythm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's the, they're known as rhythm changes. You know. Charlie Parker would write songs like that. You know, Miles Davis would do that as well. So it's a very kind of common thing in jazz. In the jazz world, it's like I'll play the rhythm changes in B flat, and there you go. So uh, let me see. What am I going to do next? Yeah, okay. This is going to be interesting. <laughs>
recognize that one? <laughs> Some uh, Led Zeppelin. That uh, I've actually recorded that song twice, but never solo. But you know, with my band in San Francisco, and uh, yeah, I love that song. That's a cool song. You know, a lot of jazz musicians have covered that. I think there's just a lot of cool lines and and cool stuff to dig into. So I don't know. Can't help myself. <laughs> So now I'm going to go to something kind of quite unexpected. I'm going to go to the country of Azerbaijan, play a, a song from there. It's real famous, especially when you play from people from like Turkey or Azerbaijan or Iran. They all know this song, uh, but it's not a it's not you know famous song here. Um, and and the, the reason why I stumbled upon it was I, I was doing an audition for the U.S. State Department. And I actually still send bands around the world, um, bands around the world, and um, this was one of the songs you could arrange and kind of come up with your own version of. So I, I did. Um, so this is a song about lost love, and it's called Sene de Gamas. <laughs>
<laughs> Overload. <laughs> totally different rhyme and playing for, you know, playing with it for the Grateful Dead crowd where everybody's smoking <laughs> a bunch of weed and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and kind of rambunctious singing super loud and stuff because this is just like, and you guys really paying attention and really being here, so I um, really appreciate it. Um, and, um, and yeah, so um, I guess we'll, we're going to do the Ronald McDonald House on Wednesday uh, uh, for the for the families there, and then I'm going to be playing Delvin on uh, Friday, um, and then after that I'm back in San Francisco at the Warfields with Bob uh, for a free show. So actually he's turning 75, so wow. it's kind of cool too. And yeah. he's still going strong, so yeah. imagine that. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, and uh, still some CDs left and uh, mailing list as well. If you're welcome to just check out. And uh, I think I'm going to play, and thanks to Yaya. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I think I'm going to play a last song for you. This is a, a song written by a, um, a wonderful a composer and somebody I really kind of admire, um, admired a lot growing up and, uh, and I really kind of try to emulate his style. And uh, However, I, I feel he's not really getting the, the due he has, that he deserves, so I kind of really like to sort of champion his music. And that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> song I wrote about uh, my favorite dessert growing up in the country of Denmark, and I think some of the Danes may have left, but yeah, I'm not in the category. So, but uh, uh, this is a, a dessert you'll know uh, called Klode Klode Me Flöde. You all required to say this. <laughs> I told you it would get harder, you know, get harder. So Klode Klode Me Flöde basically is a berry uh, reduction with cream. Yeah. And it's very, very traditional Danish. So my mom used really to, used to make it. Yeah, it's very good. You probably have that at yeah, a Danish yeah. home, yeah. Yeah, Chicago. Really so. <laughs> um, so, anyways, uh, to make it a little easier for my American friends, I decided to go with the title Danish Dessert. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this, my uh, my magnum opus. <laughs>
totally haven't prepared an encore, but I'll play one. <laughs> I hope you recognize this one. Thank mm -hmm. you. 